Uh, I respond to this video to some guy called the Defending Champ uh, regarding the Life Sucks video. Um, I watched the first four minutes, and two minutes in he starts to get the thing, so we'll start there. Um, yeah, I couldn't watch after that. After the four minutes, I just said, no, I'm going to make a response video, so I might as well just play it and respond to it, because it was just stupid. The problem is that he, the whole time, he's inserting his subjective... Yeah, well, look, there was a simple paragraph, you know, in the description of the video. So if you want to say something subjective, just pick out one of those sentences and point out how it's an ob subjective observation. Fucked hard. There's a problem with when other people do it. Um, who's to say that? I mean, it's just his opinion that life sucks, right? I mean, well, everything is just our opinions, and it's whether we can make an argument defending the opinion, whether we can put together enough facts and logic to, to demonstrate the opinion. Now, the opinion is, is that there's no God, there's no purpose behind the universe. It could do anything it wanted, it almost, theoretically. Uh, so it came up with these little rules and matter, and it's shaped a certain way, and it's able to do certain chemical things, and it creates human beings ultimately, in the end, eventually, however we want to describe that event. It happens through evolution, bingo, here we are. Now, we have sensitivity, we have a capacity to be harmed, are you going to disagree with that? Um, and that that capacity could, theoretically, uh, be very bad, okay, from certain perspectives, depending on how you look at this suffering thing, it can be a very bad thing. And all we have on the other side is this, oh, I'm horny, I chase it, I get satisfied, and then I get horny again, I chase it, I get satisfied, then I get horny again, I chase it, I get satisfied. That's what we have on the other side to balance against that suffering. I'm making the logical argument that when you, when you total all this crap up, all you have is a lot of stupid desire, pointless accomplishment, that's driven by negative deprivation, desire, um, and on the other side you have this potential to do great, for, for, for there to exist a great deal of horrific suffering. Not that complicated, bastard. Or that, uh, he keeps talking about, he acts as we're all miserable creatures and, you know, we're all addicted, who cares? So what if we're addicted? What so what? So what is not an answer to um, suffering? It's just not. You don't walk up to an eight-year-old kid with uh, cancer and say, so what? You don't uh, walk up to the elephant man and say, so what? It's just not an answer to the problem. We like being addicted. Um, Again, so if a heroin addict likes being a heroin addict, right? If he says, I like being a heroin addict, I like my heroin. You just say, oh, it's fine, no problem. I mean, where does that go? Where, where is the end of that kind of rationale? I mean, you could ask a spider whether it likes to liquefy the, the organs of other insects and suck them. Does that justify the fact that each spider will consume... Um, <clears throat> so much torture in its ex for its existence, for the sake of its existence, it will, it will pile on one side of the scale, absolute torture. I mean, if you've seen insects who have been killed by spiders, they don't just die instantly, you know. <laughs> so, whatever. Uh, cold. See, he, he says, well, most of the world's living in squalor or whatever, but compared to what? Um, well, compared to how not the rest of the world is living, first off. So, I mean, just by our relative standards, we can see that even us, um, the comfortable, quote-unquote, who are obviously pretty fucking miserable because we're on drugs and, um, you know, we can't satisfy our, just our needs, we're uh, uh, grotesque consumers, um, chasing, 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 um, and even in our luxurious position, relative to that, they're living in shit. So, yeah. Um, would you live um, their life? I mean, that's the honest question. Would you live as a penniless man in the Congo who's going to die at probably 35 of malaria? Would you do that? Is that what you want to do? And your, your greatest accomplishment in life was when you had a great fried slug one day? Yeah, he, to say that people are going to swallow, you're preparing not to someone who thinks living better off. So, even someone who dies at the age of 30, uh, do you think that if they had a choice to die a painless death earlier, if they would choose it? Maybe some would. But my belief is that probably most people, if they could die right now um, a painless death, 
wouldn't take that option. They would want to keep it. Yeah, well, whatever. I mean, I explained that in the video. That's the nature of desire. Yeah, you, you're you never going to be done. You're never going to be finished. You're always going to want to turn the wheel one more turn. Because you always, there's always some, there's another hamburger to eat, another pancake to flip, another something to do, you know? Survival. And even if you come up with some reason that they're because they're addicted, it's because they're, they're taught to want to live or they're genetically made up to want to live, you know, they're suffering. So what? Who you decide that you're better off if they never existed? Who, so what, so what? Is that how you just travel through your whole life, this, this so what crap? So let's say you're an intergalactic traveler and you come across a planet where there is a, a giant paramecium. It has no brain at all. Just a big, giant, living thing, okay? It doesn't feel, doesn't do anything. It just marches along and does its consumption reproduction thing. Um, and what it, what it eats is um, six-month-old six six, six old cat brains and it sucks them out over a four-day period really really slowly um, while the kitten is screaming and yelling hor horribly all right so you drive by this planet and this is what's going on here the predominant thing going on is these big giant things are eating the brains of these little kittens um, and you're just going to drive by and say so what right that's going to be that's going to be your intelligent response to that suffering is just to say so fucking what Fuck you. Um, it's just it's subjective bullshit. Uh, what else is I going to say? Okay, uh, go ahead. Say it. Say that, that uh, suffering isn't real. It's, it's, it's just a subjective thing. It, it has no reality. So it doesn't matter whether 6 million Jews die in a Holocaust. It doesn't matter whether 30 million people die in a war. It doesn't fucking matter. Okay? It just doesn't fucking matter. doesn't matter we have universal health care. Fuck that shit. doesn't fucking matter. doesn't matter how many people freeze to death, homeless. It doesn't. None of it fucking matters. Go ahead and say that shit just so I can say you're a, you're, your brain is dead. Dead. Um, it's a game. We're just chasing desires. And, oh yeah, not to the bug thing. So we're just bugs, right? So why are you having this the suffering matters so much, that, that it matters so much what we do or don't do. I don't know, if we're just bugs and just bullshit, I mean, do you really have a, you know, do you, do, does it matter when you walk outside and you kill ants when you're walking? I don't know. It matters to me. I mean, I obviously consider it. I say, damn, this is, I wish I didn't have to do that. I wish the consequence of my existence wasn't that something else had to be harmed in any way whatsoever. I'd love to be able to have a guarantee written contract that I will not cause anything, any pain to gain what I need to gain. Um, so I love that. Yeah, I love not to be taking the risk. I don't know. Do you know? Are, are, are you an expert on bug psychology? It's a hard question to answer because, you know, at our core, what we are are feeling organisms. Um, so yeah, maybe bugs can do the feeling thing. Okay, they can't write Shakespeare, uh, but maybe they do the feeling thing really fucking good. And that's um, it should they should give you a little bit of pause because if that's the fucking reality, then the hell that is this earth is a, is it's much bigger and much badder um, than you're currently imagining. Uh, every step you take, you're probably killing some tiny bug. Do you feel bad? Do you think that matters? I mean, how much... Uh, I think all sentient suffering matters. I think it is a, quant a, a, a quantum of value. All suffering is a quantum of value. So, yeah, it all matters. Any little bit of it you can take out of the equation, uh, good deal. All right, and my point is, is because there is nothing else. There's no point in any of this shit. You might as well get rid of all of it. You might as well perfect the conscious experience or give up the game. Because the game is fucking stupid. You can only want it because you are made to want it. If you say, oh yes, it does matter because the bug suffered or something. I don't know, are you really that concerned that you tiptoe around when you're walking outside to avoid all the bugs? It really wouldn't matter even if I didn't. Okay, I don't, but I mean, even, it, what's it matter? What does that have to do with a philosophical discussion? 
It doesn't have a goddamn thing to do with it. I mean, either my logical argument is correct or incorrect. It doesn't matter what I do in my personal life. It doesn't. It really doesn't matter whether I even live by my own statements. It it, it matters not. They stand alone by themselves. So why are you personalizing this, butthead? I doubt it. So you don't. So in that sense, you say suffering matters. You obviously don't care about it. Oh, so it's so to do something wrong, you don't. The only way you could possibly do something wrong is if you don't care. Is is that your silly argument? I mean, you you've you've never hurt somebody unintentionally um, that you cared, but you still ended up hurting them because you know you, there was a conflict. Yeah, there's a conflict. Okay, I can't live my life at all if I'm going to worry about every microbe that I influence in my day-to-day -day life. So yeah, there's just no practical way to live my life that way. So I live my personal life.